Hello and welcome back. This is Arun Patwardhan and today I will be talking about features that allow us to hold a collection of data. There are two ways of storing data in a collection. Using an array or a dictionary. Let us have a look at each. Arrays hold a collection of data sequentially. They can hold multiple values within a single variable. This is useful especially if the values are related to each other. Arrays are indexed by numbers and start with the number 0. Let us have a look at how to create, read, update an array. Declaring an array is easy. It's just the variable name followed by the equals operator followed by all the values listed one after the other within round brackets. To get information out of an array, we use the dollar curly brackets with the array variable inside. For example, dollar curly brackets name of the array, in this case items, followed by square brackets and the index position, closing brackets and closing curly brackets will give us the value within the array at that index. Similarly, we can get all the elements by simply providing at the root instead of the index value. Prefix a hash before the variable with the adder it gives the count of the number of values and we can also provide and get a range of values. We can add another value to the array using the plus equals operator. We can remove a specific item from the array using the unset operation. A for loop is best for going over an entire array. Simply keep all the values of the array as a collection over which the for loop will iterate. This will allow it to go over the entire array. Arrays can be populated using the output of another command too. In this example, we are listing all the items in the home folder. The result is stored in an array and then we use the results of the array with the help of a for loop to go over the entire array. Dictionaries on the other hand are a collection of data that are indexed using strings instead of numbers. This feature is only available on Bash version 4 or later. So it might be a good idea for you to check the Bash version on your computer. Or you could simply use the ZSH interpreter instead, which is the default on macOS. We create a dictionary by declaring an associative array. Values are placed in the dictionary by providing the name of the key in square brackets, followed by the equals operator and the value we wish to store. Just like arrays, we can use the dollar curly brackets to expand the dictionary and get the value for a specific key, all values, or all keys. We can also get all the values along with all the keys and values and the number of entries. All these operations are possible on a dictionary. And just like an array, we can use a for loop to iterate over all the keys from a dictionary and then pick out the value for each key. I have used a printf here to control the output formatting. That's it. You could use an echo statement to achieve a similar result also. 
Let us see how we could use these concepts in our folder creator script. So here we have the script from our previous blog. Let us go and start making changes to this. We'll start off by updating it to today's date. Let us update the version documentation. So in this version, what we will be doing is we will be adding or replacing folder variables with an array. Now, we will be replacing these variables with our own new variable called folders. And just as we declare an array, we will declare it out here. There you go, we just need one variable instead of three. You can see it's already becoming a little compact there. Update the version number. Update the version for the log file. We will update the if statement to use our array syntax itself. So now we are storing all our values in the different array positions. Similarly, we'll update our UI logic out here. To store the value in the array itself. And we use the dollar curly brackets to expand the array and print out all the values here. Update the same out here and out here. Finally, in the for loop, we just need to replace this with our entire array and that should do the job. And there you go. We have updated our script to use arrays. You can immediately see the advantages here. Barring a few places where we have hard-coded values, in the future, if we wish to increase or decrease the number of items we want to work with, we simply need to update the default values out here. And our for loop still remains the same. So our code is a lot more scalable now. And there you go. That's how you could use arrays in a script. And that's it. Creating and using arrays and dictionaries is very easy. The fact that we can store multiple values in a single variable suddenly makes the code much more compact and a lot more scalable. Thank you.